Hi students, we will continue with the dual nature of matter radiation. So, so far we have seen what is photoelectric effect, experiment to demonstrate photoelectric effect and uh, experimental facts about photoelectric effect and then we have seen that Einstein's explanation of photoelectric effect. Even while talking about, while talking about experimental facts about photoelectric effect, I told photoelectric effect is instantaneous and all those things I told. So, I was telling sometimes they will be asking what is Hertz observations. See, in case if I ask uh, Hertz observation, what was the Hertz observation means? What he observed, when light falls on a metal surface, whenever when light falls on a metal surface, metal surface, these electrons present there, they will absorb energy and then if they absorb some sufficient energy, they will escape out of that, out of the influence of the nucleus of that and electrons are liberated. That is what first he observed. When he allowed light to fall on some emitter, and it was giving sparks for that he has given explanation. What is the explanation means? When light falls on it, the electrons present in this, they will absorb some energy and the energy is sufficient enough, they will escape out of it. That is one thing. And again next, uh, this Halvac and as well as Halvac and Lennard's observations, okay. These are also just what we have seen in the experimental facts, those things only. See now, what he observed Lennard, come on and say. He observed that when UV radiation is incident on some metal surfaces, okay, electrons were emitted and again when you stop that ultra ultraviolet radiation immediately they were stopping. It is like what photoelectric effect is instantaneous. Now when UV radiation is made to fall on a zinc plate, it starts giving it electrons, current will be constituted. When ultraviolet is stopped and immediately current will be stopped. I hope you got it. And again Halvac observed that. A negatively charged zinc plate, this you try to remember, negatively charged zinc plate, when it is subjected to some radiation, some radiation. So, negatively charged zinc plate means, what is the meaning? So, negatively charged means, it has got more number of, excess number of electrons, excess number of electrons, okay, let me say electrons, I am putting like this, excess number of electrons. Neutral means, number of electrons must be equal to number of protons. Now, this is negatively charged zinc plate when it is subjected to, when it is subjected to light for certain UV radiations and so electrons were going out, electrons were going out, okay. Now, a neutral plate, neutral plate that is that negative charge decreases when a neutral plate if you take neutral plate, zinc plate only, okay, neutral plate means electrons and protons are same. When it is subjected to UV radiation, it is becoming positively charged, it is becoming positively charged. Why positively charged? Electrons will be liberated. When electrons are moved, it will become positively charged. When you take positively charged zinc plate, becomes more positively charged. Say negatively charged zinc plate loses charges. Neutral zinc plate becomes positively charged. Positively charged zinc plate loses electrons and it becomes more positively charged. These were the observations by Leonard and as well as Halbach. And again further they observed one more thing. Say when radiation, the frequency of the radiation of the frequency of the incident radiation is less than certain frequency, they are not emitting any electrons. They are not emitting electron, any electrons. What is the meaning of it? Threshold frequency concept, okay. That is threshold frequency is what? When frequency of incident radiation is less than certain frequency, it cannot. That is a particular frequency and above which only photoelectric effect takes place. That is threshold frequency. Just once go through these things. Okay. Here Halbach's observations, Leonard's observations can be asked. Experimental facts means you need not mention Halbach or <coughs> Leonard or something you cannot, you need not mention, you can completely, you can go through. Okay. Now further here in this uh, dual nature of matter and radiation, dual nature of matter and radiation, what is exactly we need? Say here first de Broglie's wave concept we say, de Broglie's wave concept. Say here actually, one minute, this is, we write like this, okay. de Broglie's wave concept. What is the de Broglie's wave concept means? I write like this, de Broglie's wave concept. This is little explanation I will be giving, how it has come, you should know at any point of time, do not feel like you are writing some supplementary exam, I do not want all these things and all, I told you know you have to show that you are better than others. 
you should learn you should learn subject or to learn you know there is a possibility there are many students who have seen many people who failed in secondary exam and again they are taken they entered into ba they are doing good lot of things now they have become very famous also it is possible so that is the reason why you should not be deprived of entering into engineering colleges they are conducting supplementary early you for you also ranking will be provided and so you can get into it and you can compensate what you have lost what you have lost you can compensate maybe some people now you know they may be thinking like this fellow is fit for nothing or something like that you have to prove them wrong you have to prove them wrong that is the reason score some 75 80 marks and then get into any engineering or any degree study well excel in it and so you can show what you are okay that is so now de broly's wave concept see here what is this you know first actually in light there are many theories very first theory is you know, in wave optics also will be telling very first theory in light is newton's corpuscular theory newton's corpuscular theory according to newton light travels in the form light consists of minute corpuscles minute particles called corpuscles they will be traveling with enormous velocities why enormous velocities you know at that time we were not knowing speed of light particle speed of light is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second 3 lakh kilometer per second we know now but at that time newton was not knowing about it okay even you know newton and laplace they struggled to determine the velocity of sound probably you know velocity of sound is around 330 meter per second they have done plenty of experiments okay so now he told enormous velocities but i'll precise it and i'll be telling he says like newton says like light consists of minute particles called corpuscles okay that means it is in the form of part particles it will be propagating very next huygen his contemporary huygen he says light is not a particle it travels in the form of waves what sort of waves means longitudinal waves longitudinal waves they are mechanical waves you know mechanical means mechanical means they require material medium for propagation okay at that time there was a concept entire universe is filled with one hypothetical medium called ether that is a medium in that medium light is propagating okay it is a longitudinal mechanical okay that is around in 1700 1700 or 1758 or 17 in that particularly in that time they explained and later maxwell another scientist nearly in 1870 he told like light is a wave but it is not a longitudinal but it is not a mechanical it is an electromagnetic non mechanical it is a transverse wave okay now in 1900 you say first newton told it is a particle huygen says it is a wave but it is a longitudinal wave but maxwell says it is an electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave i am not going in detail wherever it requires shall be telling electromagnetic wave planck says emission or absorption of energy that radiation takes place not uh, continuously it is not continuous it takes place in discrete packets of energy called uh, quanta energy associated with uh, each that is quanta is nothing but h nu h nu that means he says again it is a particle newton said it is a particle huygen says it is a wave maxwell says it is a electromagnetic wave but now planck says it is a particle by this time all the scientists are fed up with these theories one fellow says particle one fellow says in the other way other way wave and all now they started accepting dual nature of light whenever i ask dual nature of matter how students will be answering you know light behaves like a particle and as well as wave not dual nature of light is that artha aagta idiya dual nature of light andre light behaves like a particle and as well as wave that doesn't mean whenever it wants it can behave like particle whenever it wants it can behave like a wave meaning of which is certain phenomenon can be better understood by considering light as a particle certain other phenomenon can be understood by considering light as a wave only okay now this is the concept but now de broglie he thought it in the other way come on you see what he thought is always in science there is that symmetry concept is there one symmetry one is like this why can't another thing converse he thought like light which was considered as a wave for that long okay for that long for many 2 3 centuries we are considering it as a wave 
now suddenly we started accepting it as a particle then why can't uh, electron a particle exhibit wave nature he thought of it so many scientists again proved it yes electron behaves like a wave particle any particle also exhibit wave nature in that way has proved so this is de Broglie's concept but here I would like to make it one more thing clear this de Broglie it is the name of a scientist actually name of a scientist is Broglie it is Broglie okay D is these people are from France they are for famous people they will give some respect D is like D in English D Broglie that is the reason you say I written with a small letter and B is capital letter D Morgan heard about those things D Morgan those things are different okay let it be now what I need is here this is I have shown this de Broglie de Broglie wave concept now according to de Broglie again if they ask what is de Broglie's wave concept there is a possibility explain de Broglie's wave concept what to say now de Broglie suggested that when light which was considered as a wave for that long when we are considering it as a particle why can't particle like electron exhibit wave nature okay now what do you need further de Broglie waves are matter waves de Broglie waves are matter waves for one mark I am telling de Broglie waves are matter waves what do you mean by de Broglie waves are matter waves means waves associated with waves associated with material particles which are in motion waves which are associated with material particles which are in motion so that is called as de Broglie waves are matter waves what is the meaning waves are associated with the material particles which are in motion if the particle is at rest no waves okay only when the particle is in motion it is associated with waves next what is de Broglie wavelength simple definition not called the same wave Haley de Broglie wavelength the wavelength associated with the material particles which are in motion the wavelength which is associated with the material particles which are in motion is called de Broglie wavelength what are de Broglie waves means waves associated with the material particles which are in motion that is it now here arrive at de Broglie wave equation arrive at de Broglie wave equation say so that is de Broglie wavelength de Broglie waves and this is for 2 marks or sometimes maybe for 3 marks arrive at de Broglie wave equation very very simple expression which you can learn now itself arrive at de Broglie wave equation or show that even we can ask like de Broglie wave equation we can you can say like show that lambda equals show that lambda equals h by p or h by m v also okay now only two concepts make use you will get it it is very simple what is that you know you start it in any way according to according to Planck's quantum theory Max Planck's quantum theory quantum theory we have energy equals energy associated is nothing but E equals h nu energy is given by if you want write energy is given by E equals h nu call it as equation 1 and immediately explain what is h and what is nu you know h is Planck's constant that concept has been provided by Planck only so we call it as Planck's constant nu is frequency of radiation now further what to write you know further you just uh, you put like further it is like h is you are told h is the Planck's constant nu is the frequency of incident radiation further you write like we know that I hope you are aware of it so only you can tell we know that nu equals h c by lambda nu equals c by lambda you know c is speed of light and lambda is the wavelength now if you want you can make from equations 1 and 2 what you can write this is if you want you can write or otherwise just you can uh, you can write equations or otherwise you can go ahead from equations 1 and 2 what I can write e equals h c by lambda already you are aware of this h c by lambda now according to Einstein's mass energy relation according to Einstein's mass energy relation very very famous relation E equals mc square E equals mc square say Einstein's mass energy relation I will be explaining even it in 
nuclei also I will be telling what is this energy and mass are interconverted can be converted inter, inter conversion is possible he says and earlier to Einstein we were telling like law of conservation of mass separately we are reading law of conservation of energy separately we are reading and he says energy and mass are interconvertible okay that led to many other things okay. So now from equations 3 and 4 what can I write m c square come on you see m c square equals h c by lambda. So c and c cancels and lambda equals lambda equals h by m c h by m c you are getting m c here lambda equals h by m c further here you have to write one sentence this is for a photon lambda equals h by m c is for a photon for any other material particle which is moving with the velocity v for any other material particle which is moving with the velocity v what can I write lambda equals h by m v h by m v come on you say this is only for any other material particles which is moving with the velocity v lambda is nothing but h by m v what is m v you know that it is p m v is nothing but p lambda equals h by p this is the de Broglie's wave equation that is it I hope you are getting it arrive at de Broglie wave equation or show that lambda equals h by p what is required just this come on according to Planck's, const, Planck's quantum theory we have e equals h nu h is Planck's constant nu is frequency of incident frequency of the radiation next we know that nu equals c by lambda and then e equals h c by lambda just you put here sentences you would write according to Einstein we have e equals m c square okay. Now m c square equals h c by lambda 1 c cancels lambda equals h by m c do not stop it here you always say for any other material particle which is moving with the velocity v lambda equals h by m v or lambda equals h by p that is it okay. Now here one more come on observe this this is like different forms of wave equation different forms try to know about that different forms of wave equations how to get it it is not required or if you want we can show it lambda equals you know h by root of 2 m e k 2 m e k that is a kinetic energy. How do you get this I will be showing it here just we know already we have seen lambda equals what h by p. Now e k kinetic energy is nothing but half m v square this is the subject knowledge just half m v square. If you multiply both sides with m multiply both sides with m m e k equals half m square v square you can make it not called really both sides were multiplying with m m e k equals half m v square. So now 2 m e k 2 m e k equals can I write p square Pratakta yeah m square v square is nothing but p square concentrate properly it is nothing you concentrate and you work out and keep writing it down every time when you are seeing a video or anything you have to keep writing you have to practice and then you have to close that book and once again you have to practice enough let me say why why you do not get marks okay. Now p is nothing but root of 2 m e k over h by p p is root of 2 m e k that is one equation when a charged particle when a charged particle when it is moving with a kinetic energy e k or any particle when it is moving with a kinetic energy e k what is lambda lambda is a h by root of 2 m e k suppose that is one and next when a charged particle any charged particle is accelerated through a potential difference v through a potential difference v then what is lambda lambda equals h by root of 2 m q v I will write why this is q v kinetic energy is it is nothing but work done work done is nothing but q into v from electrostatics that is it. So root of 2 m q v so this is one more equation lambda equals h by root of 2 m e k and lambda equals h by root of 2 m q v for neutron we cannot accelerate you cannot go for this formula you have to go for this formula if neutron is moving with certain kinetic energy yes I can take this but it cannot be accelerated through some potential difference. Now here for electron we will be telling for electron we will be taking that is also important for electron what it will be that I will be showing here just for electron if I take what to write lambda equals h by 
root of what do you write tell me root of h by h by root of say lambda equals h by root of 2m ev just ev instead of q we are writing e lambda equals h by root of 2m ev okay this value if you find out you know this value will comes out to be 12.27 divided by root v angstroms angstroms means 10 power minus 10 meter or even sometimes we will be writing it as 1.227 divided by root v nanometer everything is one and the same say nano this is nanometer nanometer see here sometimes here some problems based on this can be asked one mark two mark problem they in questions only we can create problems we can do it there is no rule like we should not give problems there we have to give only for 15 marks i can give one two marks some okay how can i frame it you say electron is accelerated through a potential of 100 volts potential of potential difference of 100 volts what is the wavelength associated with it okay how do you do problems do not feel like problems are tough or something like that no way I am telling only a little bit of mathematical knowledge just I am telling addition subtraction multiplication and division little bit if you have other skills if you have you can do it okay squaring and all those things nothing more than that okay here lambda equals 12.27 by root v I am telling v is 100 root 100 is 10 answer is 1.227 angstroms that is it sometimes how they will give lambda will be provided lambda will be provided they will ask you to calculate v again it is not a big thing when we ask you to provide uh, calculate v what to do root v equals 12.27 divided by lambda squaring both the sides v is 12.27 angstroms into 10 power minus 10 square you do divided by lambda square lambda has been provided put the value and calculate you get it okay it is not a problem at all i am telling only mere cross multiplication you must be able to do that sort of things okay now further here further and after this actually this wave nature associated with electrons has been proved by davison germer two scientists by name davison germer they have proved it so that is davison germer experiment so this is again for five marks it is for five marks okay the particle nature of electron is demonstrated by one scientist by scientist Davison Germer experiment. Okay. In 1927 only they proved it experimentally they have verified that wave nature of electrons. So, this one experiment is also important. I am talking about dual nature of radiation and matter in this only. Already I have discussed about three five mark questions. This is one more. You are thorough with this means and I am telling definitely will get five marks. But of course, problems are there problems some few problems I will be telling not many problems only few problems I will be explaining. Now here what is the Davison Germer experiment means it is quite lengthy but still you can make it precise very first thing you should write uh, that figure figure is important say so, figure is Davison Germer experiment this figure you have to practice and I am telling you how to practice first to start with this is called as electron gun we call this as electron gun when you say this is called as electron gun we say this is electron gun what is electron gun means it will have some tungsten filament tungsten filament which is connected to low tension battery this is just low tension battery when you connect this low tension low tension battery electrons are emitted from the tungsten filament electrons are emitted overall you say you say you just write this this is a cylinder and again this is the nickel target this is nickel target and this is movable detector this is a movable detector which can be connected to even galvanometer you have to practice this this is again high tension high tension means it is a potential divider arrangement that is called as potential divider arrangement okay here this this has been connected to negative side and this cylinder is connected to positive side that is okay so now after writing this figure you try to explain that figure what is that arrangement consists of come on either note called ether and every okay and then if you want your own words your own sentences you can make it not a problem but overall just must be same 
it consists of an electron gun okay so now a cylinder a cylinder a nickel target a movable detector and all these things these th these things have been kept in an evacuated chamber this is an evacuated chamber okay so now filament and filament and as well as this electron gun and as well as this cylinder cylinder with uh, some holes will be there some small holes will be there here such that electrons can pass through that okay that has been connected to a high tension battery that is it same thing you write and then explanation say this electron electrons emitted by the tungsten filament tungsten filament are passed through to make it very simple I am telling it is a collimated passed through this cylindrical cylinder when they are coming out of the cylinder they will become a collimated beam what do you mean by collimated beam means it is a parallel beam see here I am writing like this but actually electrons will be moving like this also electrons will be moving like this but here only there are some holes are there only electrons which pass it through these holes will come out here as a parallel beam that is it that parallel beam is called as collimated beam that collimated beam is made to strike that nickel target here why nickel and all not required we will go ahead okay nickel target and then they are scattered scattered by the nickel target that scattered beam that scattered beam is is made to fall on this mobile collector and we can observe the intensity here we can observe the intensity in a mobile detector the mobile detector means a circular scale is there and that one detector has been connected even if you want you can measure the current also by connecting it to galvanometer okay here is a basic idea of this i'll be telling say light exhibits light any light it exhibits wave nature okay what is the proof of it means we take for light will be telling like light that is or otherwise waves what is the wave nature proof means diffraction wave nature proof is diffraction particular proof you try to know this now when light exhibit diffraction light particles will exhibit diffraction now i am showing that electrons are also exhibiting diffraction pattern come and see how logical it is light exhibits diffraction we know that if i show that electron beam also exhibit diffraction that means electron has got wave nature say so proof for that is diffraction electron beam if it exhibits diffraction we can show that electron exhibit wave nature for that they have done one experiment and further and after this after this explanation what right now that intensity variation intensity they have varied with the different angles different angles and even different potentials they have taken that is an important one that you have to write different accelerating potentials that is from you have to mention this part 44 volts to 68 volts how is that you know maintain 44 volts and study the intensity versus theta pattern intensity will be changing okay as theta is changed intensity will be changing and again make it to 45 do it and in that way 46 in that way in that way they have done different different experiments and after doing the different experiments here what they have observed what they observed is for an angle of 50 degree you have to remember those things only jo only few things you remember I am telling at an angle of exactly theta is 50 degree they got one peak peak means you see that is in diffraction pattern probably you are aware of it diffraction pattern how it will be means it comes like this it comes in this way and again it will be like this this phenomenon is called as diffraction when we study this electron intensity electron beam intensity at different angles and for different voltages particularly particularly for 54 volts particularly for 54 volts at a theta equals 50 degree even sulpa and input kole a values and input kole 54 volts amale 50 degree ali it shows one diffraction pattern similar to the similar to the one exhibited by light artha aitha idu light saha ide tara pattern torustaita electron beam is also so showing the same pattern what is the meaning meaning is like electron exhibit wave nature sum it up precise it it is quite lengthy but you can precise and you can sum it and then some other points are there say once again i am telling davis and german experiment please practice this if you are not practiced i am telling you know what is photoelectric effect demonstrate an experiment 
Einstein's explanation, Einstein's explanation of photoelectric effect, experimental facts and then this I am telling. Do not tell me like sir out of 4 I have practiced 3, who knows this might come in the exam. That is the reason I am telling be thorough with at least minimum some 6 chapters, thoroughly 6 chapters and then I will give some questions. You just go through those questions, important questions. I am telling important, may come, may not come may come or may not come you can you can never say that okay this question only will come in the exam okay so that is the reason i am telling when you prepare like this now in this chapter any question you will be able to do you should be on safer side always okay okay now this figure you write and little explanation whatever i told that is apparatus anywhere you start and then when this is when this tungsten filament and so when it is emitting electrons here when it is emitting electrons, they will fall on the cylinder. In the cylinder, they are passed through the center of the cylinder through the holes. And the emergent one, why it is? This has been connected to positive. These electrons are attracted by that positive potential. Just like in photoelectric effect, how I told, cathode is emitting, anode is attracting. In the same way, this is maintained at positive potential, high, part, high positive potential. That uh, electron beam which is coming out, it is parallel. It is a collimated beam that is made to strike the nickel target that nickel target it just scatters the electron beam. So, this is where intensity here what is the intensity here what is the intensity here what is the intensity that intensity distribution we are studying you are getting one peak at exactly at theta equals 50 degree theta equals 50 degree and at a potential of 54 volts mention that okay. And again from these experiments from the Davis and Germer experiment experimental value they have calculated experimental value they got it as this is also I have to mention 0.165 nanometer. What is this? Wavelength associated with the wavelength associated with electron. Wavelength associated with electron you got it as how much? You got it as 0.165 nanometer. Then already De Broly theoretically had given one formula already from that we got this 1.227 divided by root V. Root V now root 54 nanometer it is nanometer you calculate this if you calculate this you will get answer as 0.167 nanometer 0.167 nanometer this is theoretical value this is theoretical value experimental value 0.165 is not there in well in agreement very near very near so this is the proof i hope you are getting it experimentally what they got theoretically what they got. You know one thing you try to recall Newton velocity of sound velocity of sound according to Newton what he had given he had given like according to him V equals root P by rho he has taken root P by rho ok I will remove this completely it is he had given like V equals V equals root P by rho he has taken under isothermal conditions he calculated answer was 280 meter per second we accepted this 280 meter per second but later experiments have been done experiments have been done experimental value it was around 330 meter per second where can i where can i accept you have to always accept experimental value not the theoretical value okay then laplace had given correction he got around the same thing 331.5 or something Okay. So, now it is ok, but whereas 0.165 and 0.167 almost same. So, that is what you have to write. Okay. Here later one more thing Eisenberg's uncertainty principle you please go through that that is in chemistry also it is there. What is that means? It states that the uncertainty in measuring the position and momentum you cannot do them accurately simultaneously that is nothing but h cross delta x is the uncertainty or even error in measurement. When you are measuring momentum accurately, there will be more error in position. When you measure this more accurately, there will be more error here. So, both simultaneously and accurately cannot be determined. That is one thing. This is about this particular topic. And here again, say some problems, some problems here. What sort of problems means? It is you need not worry much. Say some 
three or four problems later also I will be taking up some important problems or even the problems which have been occurred in some exams only will be taking up. So, now here in case of photoelectric effect especially this you know now whatever I have seen here in this lambda equals h by m v h by m v they will give you value of m a body of mass 1 kilogram moving with 0.5 meter per second what is the wavelength associated with it is it a problem you just tell me mass is 1 kilogram if you feel like it is a problem I am telling come and understand you can also you never feel like yes sir we felt it as a problem only no no way you are not putting your mind you are all quite intelligent I am telling just before this also we are discussing most of the rural students potential is very high compared to urbanites compared to Bangalore your potential is quite high okay but whereas you are not making use of it and if you make use of it and you can you can shine like anything I am telling you never underestimate yourself you never underestimate yourself that I do not know I cannot remove those things. So, this is nothing m is 1 kilogram v is 0.5 why do you worry you remember the formula lambda equals h by m v lambda equals h by h is whatever given you take 6.625 they will give that into 10 power minus 34 divided by 1 into 0.5 because velocity is 0 0.5 0 0.5 it is 1 by 2 see still calculations 2 will go to the numerator multiply and put that 6.625 into 2 and then into 10 power minus 34 meter that is it. Sometimes lambda will be given lambda will be given I say lambda is something like 5 into 10 power minus 7 meter ok just I am taking 5 into 10 power minus 7 meter or let me say 27 meter also you take I, I do not mind 10 power minus 27 meter velocity is something like just 0 0.1 meter per second or something I say I will ask you to calculate mass mass of the particle never feel like this is a problem again whatever it might be lambda equals h by m v cross multiply m equals m equals h by lambda v that is it h by lambda v substitute you will get it. This substitution and all these things you should learn I am telling as a second PU student you should know how to do the cross multiplication how to square sometimes that is the basic mathematics if you know that okay that will be enough and again do not settle for just if I clear some second class it will be enough I will do some BSc or something like that okay do BSc it is a good course do MSc do PhD who knows you can do it but at least from now onwards you should be like I told you know already I lost something I have to gain it back okay do not wait for one year do not wait for one year now only you clear it it is possible just go ahead say now to make that only I am telling what sort of other problems in photoelectric effect what sort of things means very simple things it is especially in uh, problems in regular board exam they made it very simple always say here always problems revolve around I will tell you E equals W plus E k not more than that somehow let me say W is given E k is given they will ask you to calculate E not a problem only but whereas in slightly in different way instead of giving E k I will give velocity electron I say velocity I will give you have to find out that instead of giving W I will give threshold frequency and then I will ask you to find out what is energy ok like this I will be giving ok let me say now one problem I will be taking up and then I will be telling say lambda naught lambda naught in one problem for one threshold wavelength I am giving threshold wavelength I say like it is 5000 angstroms I do not calculate everything here I will show you the method you try to do it lambda naught is 5000 angstroms lambda is 3000 angstroms question I can frame it I can frame this actually what I will be suggesting to find out them to find out the velocity but here most of the time they do not ask even that velocity also they do not ask they will ask you to find out only some kinetic energy 3000 angstroms this is 3000 angstroms say what I, what I am telling is threshold wavelength for a certain material is 5000 angstroms when a radiation of wavelength 3000 angstroms is incident on it what is the 
kinetic energy calculate the kinetic energy and as well calculate velocity i am telling these are the only things which you need here you see here what exactly you need from this i'll be telling lambda is there anyway you try to find out lambda is there lambda not is there this formula only i need by using lambda not you can find w by using lambda you can find e e k is e minus w that's it e k is e minus w no deal w equals h c by lambda not h c by lambda not artha aitha so ille h is 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 use calculator and do it 3 into 10 power 8 3 into 10 power 8 divided by ಒಂದು ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಿಟನ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ನಾ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಜೌಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೊಂದು ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಜೌಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವೇ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಐ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಟೋಟಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿ ಟಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ತಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ದಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಫೈವ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಮ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಬೈ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಬೈ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡಾ ಎಗೇನ್ ಯೂ ಟು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಏಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ನಾವು ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ನೌ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಐನ್ಸ್ಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಐನ್ಸ್ಟೈನ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಇ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇ ಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಹಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಇ ಮೈನಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಇ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಫ್ ದ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಯು ನೋ ಇ ಕೆ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಯರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ರೂಟ್ ಟೂ ಇ ಕೆ
dual nature of radiation and matter and everything I have covered. In the next session, we will start with atoms. We can start with atoms. Atoms is the next one. Atoms, nuclei and again I will go ahead with semiconductor electronics also. Semiconductor electronics, you know 9 marks. It is not at all difficult. It is very, very easy. That part also we will be seeing it. Okay. Now, I will be stopping it here and we will see in the next session.